God has placed me in a position to be able to touch the heart of his people. And I don't take that lightly. God has put me in a position to use me to help the men and women of God. I know that God is no accident that God has surrounded me with certain people that I need to pour into. And I know that I know that part. Um, but there are some things that I am unclear about. So I have been struggling with that. You guys know when you follow me, you know, um, that, you know, my cousin passed away in the end a month ago. Um, my pastor passed away. So, you know, there, there's been a battle. Um, but I know there's a call. Okay. I, I know that. And I know when I, when we wrote the book in beginning of the year, right? God dropped in my spirit that he doesn't call the qualified. He will qualify the call. So I know there's a calling, but I'm not, cl I'm not clear about it. So today there was some absolutely some phenomenal speakers there. Um, Ms. Antoinette Staples, um, Ms. Keisha Robinson, LaShonda Gary, um, William Matthew. Um, there are tons of people that spoke today. But Miss Keisha Robinson, I never met this lady a day in my life. Never seen her, don't even know her, right? She began, she began to minister. You can just see that God has a glorious call on her life. And she doesn't take it lightly. She gets in the presence of God. And look, today she was talking about not just the call, but she was talking about an assignment, right? She was talking about the characteristics of a leader. The characteristics of a leader is such that a leader is called to be a servant. A lot of people want to be a leader, but they don't want to serve the people of God. They don't want to get before God to get what is needed for the people. And so she began to talk about the different characteristics of the leader and how we are holding people up because some people can't move without us. Some people are stagnant because we're not moving. Some people are depending on us. And she began to minister and talk about the call that's on your life. She just began to talk about that. And she began to talk about, no, it's not going to be easy. No, it's not going to be easy. No, no, the journey is not easy. But the journey is not impossible. The journey is not impossible. She said the truth does not have to be protected or defended. The truth does not have to be protected or defended. If I needed to hear from God today, I needed to hear from him today. I had begun to grow weary, right? But let me tell you something. It does not matter if it's not on your timing, right? When God is ready to speak a word into your life. You just need to be ready to hear it. You need to be ready to receive it. And you need to re be ready to go forth and do what God has called you to do. And so she began to talk about all the excuses that we may give by, for not doing what we need to do. But she said it is time to cut the excuses. She had an amazing presentation. Listen, she had an amazing presentation, guys. Somebody's life is depending on you. And I say it all the time, but today was a gut check, right? I've been going through depression for like six months. But somebody is waiting on me to move. And if I'm going to be an emerging leader, I have to serve the people. My job is to serve the people and God is going to do whatever he wants to do. If I do my part, I got to serve the people. If you want to be a leader, leadership starts in being a servant of God's people. Not speaking forth, right? She said titles, whatever. She didn't want nobody to know anything about her titles because she said it didn't matter. She came today to give a word for God's people. Listen, guys, that ain't even the part that got me up off my seat. Listen, so she just began to speak. She only spoke for 20 minutes, but she gave us a real a, a pamphlet. And we, we looked it over. It had some phenomenal things in there. I'm going to share that with you guys later. But I knew... 
that God was speaking to me because I had been toiling and I had been, I had been wrestling with the call, the assignment, making sure I, I'm get, I'm getting it right. I'm not, I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm not a preacher. I'm not an ordained minister, but I know that there is something that God is calling me to do. And I know that somebody is depending on me to get it done. Right. But I'm also in a mental battle and a mental struggle, um, to get where he needs me to be. And so after it was over, you know, I just went up to her and I just thanked her, right? Sometimes you need to thank people that take time to hear from God because it's not easy. But then they also take the time to pour into you by being obedient to the Father. And sometimes you need to walk up to those people and you need to thank them and you need to let them know that they heard from God. Because sometimes you are not sure if what you're saying came from God. And so somebody in the audience needs to bring you back the confirmation because they got the confirmation. And so I began to thank her. I began to tell her, you know, that I was in a toil about the calling and I know she heard from God. I know this. I, I, I know it. And I know he spoke to me by using her. And I just began to appreciate her for being a vessel. Everything she's been through, Right. She began to tell us some things that she'd been through. She still took the time to care about somebody else and to show up today and minister to who? To God's people, to meet the needs of the people. Listen, guys. She took my hands and she began to pray. Listen, I believe in God. I believe in the Holy Ghost. I believe in operating in the gifts of the spirit. Right. I believe in that. She began to, she took my hands and she began to pray for me. She began to speak life into me. God, listen, guys, listen, you, if, if you know, you know, listen, guys, if, if you know, you know, she began to say that I was going to do some things and God was going to bring it back to me plus interest. Listen. And Therese was standing right there when that lady began to pour into my life directly to me. And she began to speak the things of God into my life. And she said to me that God is going to do it and he is going to do it plus interest. I begin to leap for joy because I know. I know if I don't know nothing else that I know that God gave that to me. At the beginning of the year, I'm coming for everything that belongs to me plus interest, plus interest, plus interest, plus interest. The enemy also knows I'm coming for it, right? I knew the enemy was coming, but the enemy brought me some things that I was not prepared for, right? Because I didn't get in the word of God like I should. I didn't pray like I should. And I was not ready for the things that God brought, that the enemy brought before me. And it shook me off of my game. But today, God reminded me, plus interest. When she said plus interest, guys, I could have lost all of my mind. Because if plus interest is not for nobody else, plus interest is for me. God gave that to me. And he said, daughter, I am going to drop this right back in your spirit because I need to remind you that you are still coming for everything that belongs to you plus interest. And you are going to have to get in a position that I have placed you in because somebody's life is depending on you and I need to do it plus interest. Listen, when he said it, and listen, when he spoke those words, plus interest to me, standing in that room with Antrice, I almost lost my mind. I need to know if Antrice heard it. I said, Antrice, did you hear it? Because I know, listen, this is the second time that God has used a mouthpiece to remind me, daughter, Plus interest, right? The promises of God are still yes and amen. Listen, but I want interest on top of it. One word, one word, one single word from the master can change everything about your life. One word, 
One, what are you going to do with one word? Listen, I say it to my team all the time. The enemy does not come to rob an empty house. And it's no accident that the enemy showed up in the wilderness when Jesus was in the wilderness because he knew if God came out of the wilderness that he was going to be on the other side of something powerful, a breakthrough. The enemy knows if you come out of this wilderness season in your life, that there is something great waiting on the other side, right? You just got to get to the other side. Can you withstand and get to the other side of whatever you need? Listen, there, <clears throat> listen, the enemy came to the wilderness to tempt God, right? What difference are you? The enemy is going to be on his job or we going to be on ours. He is going to bring everything he has to uh, come up against you. You got to put yourself in position to get what you need. And when you can't get it, you got to surround yourself with people who are able to pour into you so you can get exactly what you need. Listen, when the lady said plus interest, the lady said plus interest and she said it over and over and over again. And I knew that. I had heard from God and he was reminding me, listen, sometimes we need to be reminded that God is who he says he is and he's going to do what he says he's going to do. You just have to get in a position, right? And be ready for whatever God is going to do. I got off track. I was shaking. I was just about ready to give up. But listen, on the other side of my prayer, my praise, my worship is going to be a breakthrough that is not just going to save my life. It's going to save the lives of the nations of God's people. And I believe that. I know that there is a calling on my life. And when I'm talking plus interest, I'm not just talking about tangible things. I'm talking about peace, love, joy, happiness. Mental wholeness, mental healing. And when God used that lady to drop those two words out of her mouth. Listen, God says, what concerns you, child, concerns me. You need to know, think, and believe that what concerns you concerns the father. He already knows. He knows the ending before the beginning. We just have to go through the process, right? We just have to stick with it. We have to go back to foundation. Foundation is prayer, praise, and worship. And you got to stay focused on God, right? If you are being about kingdom business, you don't have time to be about anything else. I don't know what anybody else got from this workshop today, but I got plus interest today. Listen, she said... That I need to begin to give birth to some things, right? I need to stay in the face of the father till I birth some things. And I knew that she was talking to, I knew exactly what she meant, right? Okay, see, I had a prayer life with God. I had a prayer, I had a prayer life with God. I had a certain place at a certain time that I met God every single day. But when life happened, I moved away from that, right? I gave the enemy free reign because I was not standing at the gate. I wasn't at my position doing what I know that he called me to do. So now she said, I need to literally get into birthing position and I need to birth what's on the inside of me. Plus interest. She gave that to me. So some of you have some gifts and some things on the inside of you. That you need to birth, right? It's okay to let some people go. It's okay to let some things go. It's okay to change courses, right? We talked about pivoting today. It's okay to pivot. And when you're in basketball and you pivot, right? You you still in the same position, but you're moving and you're turning and you're changing. They said you're changing your perspective because you're looking at things in a different direction. Some of you need to pivot, right? Some of you need to pivot. You need to pivot. You need to pivot and you need to get yourself in a new position so God can do the things that he promised you. There are some things that God can release to you because you're not in the right position. All it takes is a small adjustment. You need to pivot. Listen, I don't know 
what plus interest means to nobody, nowhere else. But I know what plus interest means to me. It is something that God gave me. Plus interest more than what is expected. Listen, I'm expecting to do, I'm expecting God to do some wild and crazy things above exceeding anything I could ever ask, think, or imagine, right? It doesn't, listen, it doesn't matter where you are right now. One word from the Father can change every single thing, but you got to believe. And you got to stand on that God is still who he says he is. And he still can do what he says he can do. God is not a respecter of person. He is not a respecter of person. But he's a respecter of anointing. He's a respecter of the person that gets before him and seeks the next move of God. He is a respecter of that. Put yourself in a position, listen, take the time, make the time to have an appointed place and an appointed time to meet the Father. We have an appointed place to show up for work every single day and we make it our business to arrive there. How much more, how much more important are the things of God for our life? Listen, God cared enough about me. God cared enough about me to speak those words to me again today. He needed me to know that what concerns you, Alexis, concerns me. And I'm still going to give you plus interest. It's still yours plus interest, but you have to decide that you're coming to get it. Stop being stagnant. It's time to move because somebody else's life is depending on me to move. You got to move. Listen, guys, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for taking the time to vote for me. Why? Because it put me in a position to where I can hear from God. It put me in a position that allowed me to get a word from God that can alter the course of my life. It allowed me to hear the Father. And I appreciate you. For that, listen, nobody said it will be easy, but it's not impossible. You just got to make a decision that no matter what, I'm not moving, right? I'm not moving until I fulfill the call of God that is on my life. Whatever that is, whatever that looks like for you, whatever you need to do where God is concerned, right? You got to make a decision today that these are the things that I'm going to do. Whatever you need to do to save yourself so you can save somebody else, you need to make a decision. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it today. There are some changes that need to be made. There's some adjustments that need to be made. Small things you need to take a little pivot so that you can get in a position to prosper. All it takes is a little pivot. Just a simple pivot. Just a simple adjustment. Just a minor adjustment. So that God can open up the windows of heaven and pour you out things that you could ever think or imagine. We got to make an adjustment. Listen, she said plus interest. That, that's all I know. Listen, she said a whole bunch of other stuff to me directly. But when she caught my hands and she began to say plus interest, whew, listen, I could have slapped the entries right there on the spot. I could have slapped the entries down to the floor because she didn't get excited. She didn't get as excited as I did. But guess what? God didn't give it to her trees. He gave it to me. You want people to get excited about things that God dropped in your spirit and he didn't give it to them. He gave it to me. He gave it to you. And trees didn't leap like me. She didn't leap like me because he didn't give it to her. He gave it to me. Now she'll be a benefactor 
of what God has given me, right? Because she shows up for me every single time I need her. Even when I think I don't, she shows up for me and I'm forever grateful and thankful for her because she stands right beside me. She shows up for me, right? And when my cup began to run over with the plus interest, I pray that God will run and treat his cup over in the name of Jesus because she has showed up for me. So I pray that she gets the overflow. Listen, I need my cup to run over. I need to plus interest for the people that are attached to me so that their cup can run over. She didn't get it today though. She didn't get it. I say, and Trace, did you hear her? She said, yeah, this see, it wasn't good enough for me. But I'm expecting that Trace to leap about something that God gave to me. Listen, guys, all I know is this. When you need to hear from God, right, and you put yourself in a position to hear from God, you got to trust and believe that God is going to use the mouthpiece to speak through you, to you. You got to be connected to the right mouthpiece, right? Because if you're not connected to people that can hear from God, that lady had to hear from God. Listen, listen, nobody can tell me no different. She is a woman of God and she takes time to get before the presence of God so that she can hear him clearly because she heard him today. Make sure you attach to the right people so that when you're tugging and you're pulling on God, he can send the mouthpiece to speak words into your life because God is not coming down here and tell you anything. He's going to use a mouthpiece. Listen, she told me some other things that I have been dealing with and I was like, wow. She's, she spoke that because I've been dealing with some people that I feel have wronged me and how do I treat them? And she spoke that into my life on today. And I am forever grateful, forever thankful that God, in spite of myself, God is still concerned about me in spite of what I don't do, in spite of what I do do, God is still still concerned about me and he loves me enough and he cares about me enough to send a lady that I never met before to say plus interest. Listen, that was enough for me to keep going. Th two words. That, that, those two words was enough for me to say, Lex, you got to get up and fight. You got to get up and do what the calling and the assignment is on your life. You got to do it. There are some people that are depending on you. There are some people that's tugging on you. There are some people that need to draw off of you so that they know that I'm still well able to do exactly what I said I was going to do in their lives. And you got to get up and fight. That was a gut check for me. You got to get up and fight. You are accountable for some people and their blood is on your hand. And if you don't do what I've called you to do, those people won't get what they need. So I got to get myself together. Listen, plus interest. That's all I know. And I just got to stand on that. I got to stand on, listen, that God gave me that. And the enemy is going to fight me every step of the way. But I got to make a decision to meet God in the same place at the same time every single day. I got to go back to basics. I got to go back to praise, worship, prayer. The foundation of the relationship with the Father. You got to get back there to relationship with the Almighty. We got to go back there. Listen, I appreciate you guys. Listen, I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. They ain't going to bed till 1. But listen, when God dropped calling and assignment, servant, and plus interest today, that was all I needed, guys. That was that was all I needed to hear from God. Listen, I don't know what you're going through, but I do know this. That God is still well able. The promises are still yes and amen. If you do what God has called you to do, 
He's going to give you the desires of your heart. The Bible says, delight yourself in God and he will give you the desires of your heart. Whatever that is, whatever that looks like for you, your desires might not be my desires. And Tree's desires wasn't plus interest. It was mine because he gave it to me. She couldn't leap like me because it wasn't for her. Whatever is for you, whatever concerns you, guys, concerns the father. Listen, you guys have an amazing night. Make a decision that you're going to pivot. You're going to make a minor adjustment in your relationship with God so that when you tug on him, he'll show up quickly and he'll prove to you. Listen, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. I saw every tear. I heard every prayer. And I'm going to drop a little dime in your spirit to let you know that I am simply smiling on you because I heard you. I seen the tears. I heard the cry. I heard you and I'm going to drop you just a little bit to help you keep going. You guys have a good night. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.